Yeah, neurofeedback is interesting because it's been around for probably 50 years already now. And um, initially it was used to help uh, relaxation, to improve relaxation. And it's been used in a number of other uh, disorders, but I got into it because uh, in the sleep disorder world, the insomnia population, uh, there'd always be a group of people who, even though they could improve using behavioral strategies, um, what we considered cured insomnia was always lower than the normal population if you compare them to a group of normal everyday people who didn't have sleep issues. And if you look at the brain activity, it's been clearly now established that they have what would be called a hyper-aroused brain. The brain kind of isn't slowing down, isn't stopping and doing what it needs to do. And so I found my early research doing brain mapping in sleep disorders, I returned to and realized that there were these strategies out there, or these, these uh, tools already available. So neurofeedback is sort of a special form of biofeedback. Essentially, we're going to connect you to a signal that tells you what's happening internally. Biofeedback does it with skin conductance or heart rate, and if we connect that to a tone, you can tell when your heart rate's high or low by the tone you hear, and you can learn to lower it and thereby relax. So there are other things we use biofeedback-wise. Neurofeedback, we connect directly to the brain activity. The reasoning being that the brain activity is really reflecting what's going on in the body. And we can see in the brain activity this hyperarousal. So if we feed back information to the brain about the fact that it's hyperaroused, it can learn to slow itself down. Uh, coincidentally, that same type of hyperarousal can impact our cognitive function as well. So you can imagine when you've been stressed or when people are just stressed in daily life, thinking can become a bit clouded. It's harder to put two and two together because the stress is kind of just getting in the way. And so the neurofeedback can help both quell the stress and clear the fog because it's helping the brain reorganize itself. Uh, it's helping support neuroplasticity, new growth, regrowing these connections, and maybe even stimulating these, these you know, brain neurons that we thought weren't able to do this anymore to grow again, to, 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 uh, to produce new brain cells as well.